Hey and welcome to Neverwinter with Arrogance. So on the preview test server for PC, the new trial is available. We've completed the standard version and I made a video on it. And now let's get into the master version. This is significantly more challenging. As public queue, it's 80,000 item level. Private queue, it's just 75,000 item level. Now we're just gonna cover the first phase in this video. There are what you could say five phases and you can see you have mr minotaur what he's called right now one tank needs to make sure he has his attention and we can all call artifacts now you will see these different lasers and different mechanics throughout the fight simply avoid all the red zones that's a given but you will also see these calls like this guy it will say dance for me mortal puppets and then you will see these lasers. You saw that right there, just shoot across the screen. Now you can predict where exactly those lasers are going to be, and I'll show you when they happen again. But you can see the DPS are now dealing with a whole bunch of ads, which have spawned in at 75%. That's of the boss's hit points. We just got hit by a purple laser there, and you can see the debuff in my top left. And this will just cause damage over time, and also, after 20 seconds, it will cause an area of damage around me. You will see that. Basically, it will be a big swirling purple hand like you just see right there. And that can stack up with other people's and could kill each other. You can also see this little blue swirl around me there. That basically, if you went near somebody, you'd end up pushing them up in the sky. You could see that right here. You see the healer over there. She gets the blue swirl around her. There you go. It's like she's also casting her thing. She comes near me. It ends and I go flying up in the air. How that happens to you, you know why. But they've killed all the ads we call artifacts. And we push on to when the boss gets to 50% of its health. And again, just move out of those red zones. And there's the lasers again. I'll show you a little bit more on how to avoid them when we just finish this phase. So we've got to just a 50% and you can see the next wave of ads spawn. And it's really important that the DPS focus on those ads, ignore the Minotaur and kill the ads as quickly as possible. And by the time you kill the ads, usually you'll have artifacts back and be able to go into your big burst. Now you can see, he says, ha ha, scurry in terror. And you can see those mirrors and the lasers. This time they kill me because I'm in the wrong positioning. Yes, I'm a tank and they kill you. So DPS, you pretty much don't stand a chance unless you like deflect and it doesn't crit and you had some mitigation. Maybe you can survive, but you really need to figure out the positioning for those and and this guy this boss can hit you like a truck as well if you're not blocking here you can see the call again dance for me mortal puppets and the uh, the mirrors are going to spawn they're right there and we didn't move again i was still learning and this this is all helping me to learn i can show you a more perfect run but this trial has only just launched on public test server earlier today. And so we're all pretty much new here, bar one or two people who help a little bit explaining some mechanics. And thanks to them for the tips. Again, he calls, busy yourself with these trinkets. You see the mirror spawning there and you move in between and there you go, you don't get hit. And that's pretty much it for the first phase. You have three different locations, three walls, basically of which the mirrors can spawn. And whenever that boss makes the call out, you need to move your ass. Again, you got the boss down to that 25% and your next wave of ad spawned like your rust monsters with your Umbra Hulk. And here we got the call out again, watch your step mortal. And then the mirrors are spawning and they're falling behind me and I didn't even look. <laughs> I'm getting better at that, to be honest. But here they kill all the ads and then we go to kill the Minotaur with our artifact call. Usually you should be able to do four artifact calls and have killed him. As a DPS player, it's a lot harder to survive. I'll definitely tell you that. As the tank, a lot more forgiving, a lot of mechanics you just gonna be able to ignore and that's the first phase complete and you're on to 
the next phase with the beholder. So to help explain this a little bit better, I've made a document. So the initial mechanic, which I think is most important, is to learn these energy beams, these mirror artifacts. And they'll spawn whenever he makes this voice line, and they spawn every about 30 seconds. They shoot out a beam that will kill you if it hits you. And you can't immunity frame that. You can't dodge out of it to potentially receive no damage. Then you can see it's 75%, 50%, 25%. That's when the next group of adds will spawn. So if you did have a lot of damage, you could like skip down to 50% and you'd have two waves of adds spawning at once. You might just get kind of wrecked with that. So just as soon as it gets to 75%, stop, go focus on killing all the adds and then come back after you've killed the ads and do your next artifact call on the boss to get down to 50% and so on. Otherwise you have this withering ray, which is a debuff that will get put on you and it can be anybody pretty much. And it will cause its area damage hit when either you get cleansed or the timer runs out, that's 20 seconds. Otherwise, while you have the debuff, you do take some damage over time. Nowadays, they have this new fancy dispelled effect on it, meaning you can dispel it, but if you do again, it will cause that large AOE hit to trigger on you immediately. Then you also have a disintegration ray, where basically you'll get hit by this laser, it'll do a ton of damage over time, and you just gotta tank it, all right? You just gotta time your stone of health to be able to survive it. Then you have the chains of undeath. You get this within Castle Never as well. Basically two people get chained together by a green chain, and you just need to either move far enough apart or just stay apart for the duration until it expires, until it disappears. If you collide, well, you'll most likely just die if you're a tank you might survive and then step number six if somebody gets like this area this blue mist around them you want to make sure you move away from people because when that blue mist disappears you will throw anybody who's near you up into the air and you'll take falling damage which could kill you or end up putting you into a bad situation where you'd get killed by let's say the the mirrors and ultimately then you have to kill the Minotaur and when he dies just make sure you're not standing in the middle. If you do the Beholder will uh, might spawn on top of you and deal a decent chunk of damage and kill you. So the current strategy that we use is one tank takes the Minotaur and the other tank just helps take the threat of the adds. That's about it. Just be careful those adds they, they pack a punch and as a tank you can get wrecked pretty quick if you're overconfident. So you should start with an artifact call and when you get to 75% you just go and you focus fully on killing the adds and once they're dead you then go back to killing the Minotaur. Just avoid your red areas and stay away from the group if you get that purple debuff which again is this one right here. The withering ray debuff when you are fighting you will see different red areas like this one right here it will basically freeze you if you stood in it there's another one this one right here if we stood in that one it would knock you over which could end up putting you again in a bad position for the mirrors so hopefully this is somewhat helpful to you guys again keep in mind as a damage dealer it's going to be a lot more of a struggle to survive than you've seen there with my tank i will be streaming this hopefully this afternoon at 15 utc where we can hopefully progress through to the second phase and on to the, even the third phase that second phase is a real mass of different debuffs balance of rng and hopefully I can get my group past it. So hopefully I presented this well. I did consider leaving a video like. And if you're new around here, consider subscribing. We'll see you guys around. Bye for now.